In this video, we will show you how to use the labeling feature in Trezor Suite. Labeling allows you to organize and keep track of your transactions better. You can label your accounts, addresses, or transactions. This feature has several advantages. Separate your expenses, keep track of what you spent or keep your KYC coins separate from those that you want to keep anonymous. Labeling is also useful for profit tracking or accounting, or if you manage coins for more people. To start using labeling, go to Settings, Application, and enable labeling. Then confirm the action on your device. You have three options for how to store your labels, Dropbox, Google Drive, or keep them locally on your computer. All files are encrypted using a private key derived from your Trezor for this single purpose. We will select Dropbox for this example. First, you will sign into your Dropbox or Google account. Trezor Suite creates a folder in Dropbox or Google Drive, and stores labels for each Trezor account in a separate file. To be safe in case you lose access to your cloud storage account, you can back the files up in secure storage somewhere else. Let's rename one of the accounts. Hover over the account name and click on the rename tag icon that appears. Enter a new account name and confirm by clicking on the green checkmark icon. Here, we rename one of our receiving addresses the same way. This helps you identify incoming payments as well as assign them to a specific purpose. Whenever someone sends you a payment to an address that you labeled, you can see this label in your transaction history. You can also label addresses for outgoing transactions to track your expenses as shown here. All files are encrypted using a private key derived from your Trezor for this single purpose. It is not possible to use Dropbox to gain access to your payment history, your actual account balance, or to your recovery seed. Hopefully, this video helped you to understand labeling in Trezor Suite. Thanks for watching.